Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, we saw this uh, Commission of Inquiry hand down its report a couple of weeks ago, and the, as the Shadow Attorney General said, no open hearings, no debate about it, because this uh, is about uh, transparency, this is about openness, and this is about accountability. Accountability at the highest order. You would expect accountability. Where is the evidence? Where is the testing of the evidence? How do we know who be, uh, appeared before the Commission, Mr Speaker? Mr. Well, we haven't heard a lot from the Police Minister in the last two weeks since this report's been handed down. We've heard no support from the Police Minister for the policemen and women in this state, Mr Deputy Speaker. But we see it all out. You can't go out there, rely on a little bit of the report, pick and choose another piece of the report and say that bikies have got nothing to do with crime in Queensland, and yet they're the major responsibility for ice epidemic in the state of Queensland, Mr Speaker. The government can't have it both ways. They can't. And then bikies they... only commit 0.5 per cent of the offences, but they are only 0.0001 per cent of the population and therefore offending at 50 times the average rate of a Queensland citizen. <laughs> 50 times the average rate a criminal motorcycle gang member offends against the people of this state. And the government, blinkered approach, nothing to see here. Just like this Royal Commission, closed door attitude, nothing to see here, no discussion, uh, end of story, Madam Speaker. And then we are to rely on this government for protecting our citizens.